Show me. There. A card up ahead. Looks like they hit a snag. Recognize him? That is Sanan, the priest. Bastard stripped him of his clothes. That camp up there, what is it? Anachdu is no camp, though it appears someone has made it into one. Let's go. What do you think? The priest was kidnapped. They took his clothes. I believe whoever did this means to wear them. A disguise? We'll soon find out. Something's got the fox in the hen house. Meet your fate. Let's search him. Sent to kill Flon. The letter is unsigned. An unknown enemy. Come. We must bring news of this to Kira. I'm with you. You handled yourself well, Eivor. I have to say, you really are no stranger to these sorts of encounters. You did not do so bad yourself. Aye, we stopped the death of a king this day. If only we knew who was behind it. No idea who would go to such lengths. You can take your pick of the Northern E Nail Kings, though it is the kings of Ulster who particularly dislike Flon. Different king, same story. Any story? The priest is dead, and so too are his killers. Bandits. I found this. It's an order to kill Flon. One of them was to disguise himself as a priest. Cut Flon's throat during the coronation. Right under our noses. Why take the risk? Why not poison? Or striking at him in his sleep? Poison can fail. And to kill him in his sleep lacks spectacle. But your point is sound. The killer would not have made it out alive. He was ready to die. 
Whoever plotted this is intent on seeing Flan fall. We need to warn him. After the coronation, I will not have this gnawing at him. Flan earned this. He will enjoy it. Meet him afterward at his quarters in Duro. He will make time for you there. Now, if you will take my excuses, I need to tidy up. Come along, Eivor. The water was not that murky, was it? You don't know much about the role of a poetess, do you, Eivor? Enlighten me. I will. Well, what are you waiting for? I asked to be excused. That meant you as well. I see other kings here. News of Flan's inauguration has reached far and wide. Come, we should join them. Is that him, Flan? Yes. What are they doing? Blessing him. Abbot Owen is the highest ranking official among the Christians. His blessing asserts that Flan is ready to fill the boots of his predecessor. It is all done before the Leah fall. A sacred stone that is said to endow the rightful kings with long reigns. Does it work? Depends on what you consider long. Coronations alone. Where's the food? You have not changed. I'm here. I may as well enjoy myself. Flan for And with that, Flan's enemies multiply. This warring of dynasties runs deep. If he is a smart king, he'll be eager for allies. Smart he is, but also impassioned. His plan to subdue the North is not driven by power so much as it is bloodlust. Back there on our ride from Dublin, Kira made it seem there was more to you and Flan. What am I missing? A uh, detail. A large detail. You see, the northern king who crowned me, Ed Findlia, he murdered Flan's father and took his place as high king. Then, as is custom, he married Flan's mother. Safe to say there's no love lost between you. None. To Flan, Ed was a venomous snake, and so too are the ones he favored. Winning his trust will be no simple task. We just thwarted an attempt on his life, 
That should at least perk his ears up. Let us hope. I will leave immediately for Duro. Meet me there as soon as you can. is inside. Relax your shoulders. He has as much to gain from this as we do. Barith, we welcome you to Doro. It has been a long time. Thank you for meeting with me, Lord. I trust our gift was well received. Exotic spices, all of which are foreign to me. I am impressed. Only a taste of things to come. Dublin will soon be known as the pillar of Ireland's trade. To a long life and prosperous reign, my king. Such fealty. <laughs> you honor me. You must be Eivor. My gratitude for your selfless actions and what preceded my coronation. Lord. It seems my enemies could not wait for my reign to begin before trying to put an end to it. An old tale between northern and southern Ian Ale, I'm afraid. But it's one whose ending I will be the author of. Planning a war? A high king should have control over his land. And I shall. If it takes a bloody war, I must be prepared for it. Dublin's trade has plenty to offer and plenty of stout fighters, Eivor included, ready to fight alongside you. I appreciate your desire to strengthen the ties between Meath and Dublin. And as much as I find myself in need of aid, it appears you find yourself undermined by your own people. What do you mean? During the coronation, a monastery was raided and a Christian text was lost. The Book of Kells. Dublin Danes are to blame. Your support will be of great help, let me be clear. For this capriciousness will sooner harm me than help me. If I retrieve the book, set straight the ones who did this, would you welcome Bardith into your court? It would help. These Danes, you know where they are? In a bog in Inch Row, just north of here. Eivor, this is my responsibility. Remain here. I will see it done. 